temperature has always been the silent enemy of the electric motor. Every single degree up or down is a test. The limit of materials, the stability of current, and the driver's faith that their car won't betray them in the middle of a desert or a snowstorm. Elon Musk has just unveiled the 2026 Tesla motor update. And for the first time, it looks like that limit is about to disappear. We're talking about a motor that laughs at ice, ignores heat, silences vibration, and can literally swap its own heart in 90 minutes, all while costing a third of what today's EV motors do. Let's dig into how Elon Musk actually pulled these off. We're closing in on 17,567 subscribers, and it's your curiosity that fuels every no-nonsense deep dive we deliver. If you're done with flashy marketing and want clear, intelligent breakdowns of EV tech that actually matter, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and join a community that sees beyond the buzz. How did Tesla build a motor that laughs both at ice and fire? If you've owned a car long enough, you already know. Cold and heat are a car's worst enemies. When it's freezing, batteries slow down, oil thickens, and everything just feels heavier. When it's too hot, the engine struggles, wiring cooks, and something eventually gives up. For years, that's just been part of driving life. But Tesla's 2026 motor? It's built to act like weather doesn't exist. Here's what's wild. This thing runs from minus 40 degrees Celsius all the way to plus 200 degrees Celsius. Those numbers don't just sound impressive, they rewrite the limits of what a car motor can handle. At minus 40, most motors lose around 25% of their power. Tesla's, it loses less than 5%. And at 200 degrees, where normal alloys start warping and insulation begins to fry, this one keeps spinning like nothing happened. So how does it pull that off? It starts inside the metal itself. Tesla's using something engineers call adaptive lattice mechanics. Basically, the metal is designed to flex a little instead of crack when it heats up or cools down. Imagine steel that breathes instead of breaking. That tiny bit of movement keeps everything aligned, the magnets, the coils, the entire motor, perfectly balanced even when the temperature goes from arctic cold to desert heat. Then there's the outer shell, not plain aluminum, but a carbon ceramic casing. Think of it like the body armor of the motor. It doesn't just take the heat, it reflects and disperses it. Tesla tested it up to 2,100 degrees Celsius before it showed any signs of stress. To put that in perspective, that's about twice as hot as lava pouring out of a volcano. Now let's talk about cooling. And this is where things get really interesting. Instead of one system that either blows air or pumps liquid, Tesla uses a dual-loop setup. One loop runs cryogenic coolant, meaning it stays smooth and liquid even when it's freezing outside, so your car starts up fine at minus 30 degrees Celsius. The other loop is air-based, and it kicks in when the motor's working hard under heat. What's crazy is, the two loops actually talk to each other. Sensors swap data hundreds of times per second, adjusting pressure and temperature on the fly. The result? Even under heavy towing or long uphill climbs, the motor keeps full power for over two hours straight before it even thinks about slowing down. Most other EV motors can barely last 45 minutes under that kind of load. And the big picture here, it's not just about keeping performance steady. It's about making the motor last longer. Heat and cold wear down machines faster than anything else. By balancing both extremes, Tesla's not just improving efficiency, they're extending the motor's life by at least two to three times. In plain English, this means fewer repairs, fewer performance dips, and a car that feels the same whether you're driving through an Alaskan blizzard or a Nevada heat wave. Do you think Tesla's new motor can really handle both freezing winters without losing power? Comment yes or no and let us know your thoughts. What happens when heat and cold can't break it? What's left that still could? For Tesla, the answer was vibration. That tiny, invisible tremor that's haunted electric motors for a century. Heat can melt a machine, sure. But vibration? It quietly shakes it apart from the inside. So, 
Tesla decided to take on the next frontier. How did Tesla build a motor that doesn't vibrate, even at full power? Most people think electric motors are already silent. They're not. They hum, they shake, and at high torque, you can feel tiny pulses through the frame, like the heartbeat of a machine trying to control enormous power. That vibration doesn't just make noise. It eats away at bearings, alignment, and long-term efficiency. It's why most EV motors lose smoothness after 100,000 miles. Tesla's 2026 motor redesign tackles this from a completely different angle. Not by dampening vibration, but by erasing the source of it. At the center of this system is what Tesla calls a floating rotor alignment. Instead of fixing the rotor's axis rigidly like in a traditional design, the new motor lets itself adjust by micromillimeters as torque loads shift. It's balanced by magnetic tension, not mechanical pressure. In other words, the rotor finds its own center under stress. That single change reduces mechanical vibration by nearly 68%, based on Tesla's early lab numbers. The difference isn't something you just hear. It's something you don't feel. No hum through the floorboards, no micro rattles when accelerating uphill, and almost no torsional fatigue on the drive shaft. The result? Longer life, smoother motion, and less wear on surrounding components like mounts and gear reducers. Tesla estimates that the new motor setup could extend drivetrain durability past 1.2 million miles, roughly double what today's EV motors achieve. Then there's the secondary effect, efficiency at scale. Without vibration, energy waste from internal friction and mechanical drag plummets. That might sound minor, but across millions of cars, it's huge. Tesla's own projections suggest that this mechanical refinement alone could boost total vehicle range by 4 to 6 percent, purely from reduced vibrational losses. That's roughly an extra 20 miles of range on a standard Model 3 battery pack achieved without changing a single cell. And it's not just about numbers, it's about feel. Older drivers especially will notice it right away. Smoother starts, quieter acceleration, and none of that jerky power surge early EVs were known for. The car feels less like a machine fighting physics and more like a glider, powered by something alive but completely calm. Do you think Tesla's new vibration-free motor could make driving feel smoother and safer than any gas car ever built? Comment, Tesla, if you think so. How can Tesla replace a broken motor in just 90 minutes, for one-third the cost? Once you've built a motor that shrugs off both ice and fire and runs so smooth it barely vibrates even at full torque, the next question is obvious. What happens when it finally breaks? Because let's be honest, everything breaks eventually. Bearings wear down, magnets lose alignment, seals give up. That's just physics doing its job. The real magic isn't in avoiding failure forever, it's in making that failure easy to fix. That's where Tesla's 2026 motor takes another unexpected turn. It's not just stronger or smarter, it's modular. The entire system splits into three self-contained parts. The rotor stator unit, the power electronics block, and the cooling and thermal module. Each one can be pulled out and swapped independently, kind of like replacing a cartridge instead of rebuilding the whole engine. For comparison, most EVs today require six to nine hours of labor to replace a drive unit, sometimes even two full days if disassembly is required. Tesla's setup cuts that to under 90 minutes, from diagnosis to drive ready. By treating every major piece of the motor like its own Lego block, Tesla reduces repair time by about 80% and slashes average cost from around $8,000 down to roughly $3,000 depending on the model. And it's not just cheaper for owners, it's smarter for Tesla's bottom line. Every module can be pre-tested, packaged and shipped as a ready-to-install replacement. No messy diagnostics, no full teardown. That means faster service centers, shorter queues, and fewer cars sitting idle. But the real impact shows up over time. A motor that resists temperature extremes, avoids vibration fatigue, 
and takes less than two hours to replace when it finally fails. That's not just reliability, that's repair as part of design. It's the same mindset Tesla's been using for years in software. Don't fight problems, isolate and update them. The difference is, now that idea exists in metal. Do you think a car that can swap its heart in 90 minutes could finally make EVs easier and cheaper to own than gas cars? Comment yes or no below. So what does all this mean? It means the electric motor, something most of us never think about, has quietly crossed a new threshold. A motor that doesn't care if it's frozen or boiling. One that can't burn, can't explode, and can come back to life in under an hour and a half. That's the world Elon Musk is trying to build. So the question is, do you think this is the breakthrough that finally makes electric cars unstoppable? How does it matter to you and your daily EV life? If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and tap the bell icon. We've got more deep dives coming on Tesla's 2026 roadmap. And trust me, you don't want to miss what's next.